Hey guys, how's it going? Right, I want to talk about birds. Birds digging your lawn. Look at that. And that little bit there. Now the front lawn's absolutely fine. It's just the back lawn. Now this happened about three months ago. Um, and it was just towards the back end of last year. And the weather was quite nice. So there could have been some chafer grubs in the lawn reasonably high up because of the warm temperatures when it gets to winter in general the grubs go further down or they get killed off by any frost and we didn't really get any really cold weather until around christmas time it was really nice we had a nice lawn up until middle of december so you've got to think are the birds after grubs or are they after material to make the nests and that's always a possibility so the first thing you need to do is have a look and inspect and see if there's any grubs. That's the first port of call. Now I actually did this three months ago and I couldn't find any grubs at all. So I actually put a lot of the grass back in place where it was meant to be and uh, some of that has rerouted. but the birds are still digging. Now they're digging because they think there are grubs. Because when you have got grubs, your lawn will go brown. And so they will just dig anyway. So when you want to inspect, you don't inspect the main area. You come to the side of the main area where you've got a reasonable bit of nice green grass. Now I don't expect to see any because it's the wrong time of year. But sometimes we get mild conditions and sometimes you'll see a few. But that is nicely strongly in. That's going nowhere. Although that one there... You can see it lifting. There we go, we have a chafer grub. Yeah. Now he looks... He's not doing a deal. In general, we don't really see him too much at this time of the year. But recent mild weather obviously brought them up. They're not quite fully hibernated. But the roots are still fairly long. And we've actually got some ants in there as well. So. Obviously, you've got to deal with the grubs. And then you've got to repair what's, what's gone wrong. The easiest way is to get some way of dealing with the grubs and then to repair it rake off all the rubbish stuff and just put some seed down a bit of tops all over the top and keep it nicely watered okay that is all you need to do so regarding treatment now there's not really many decent pesticides around now most of them have been banned so we have to rely on organic treatments and organic treatments are the likes of turf solve or nematodes but it's the wrong time of year for nematodes it's the wrong time of year for grubs in, in the main this damage was done when the temperatures were high there's not a lot of point in treating but it won't harm to treat it won't harm to put some turf solve on once a month and it will help improve the health of the plant which will help it but you may still get a resurgence come spring again. So their main treatments are, the main cycle of grubs is sort of May time, right through summer and autumn. And then we could get leather jackets from autumn, going into winter and then into next spring. So there's issues you could get all year round. But I would look to do a, a main sort of treatment with, with nematodes or turf solve in the spring. But there's no harm in putting some turf solve on through winter. Now with all organic products, there's no magic pill anymore, not like the pesticides which will be 100% kill rate within 24 hours, we don't have that anymore. So while they're not perfect, it is a step in the right direction and they are pretty good, but you need to sort of treat them when the grubs are up in a high part of the turf, which is generally when it's warm. So in winter, you want to do it early afternoon when the sun is at its highest, and in summer, you want to be doing it in the morning when it's hot but not too hot um 
So you've got turf soil, you've got nematodes, and then you've got a black tarpaulin sheet. Basically, get a piece of black tarpaulin, saturate that piece of lawn at night, put the black tarpaulin down, weight down with some bricks in the corners, first thing in the morning, lift the sheet off, and then have a look. If there are any grubs present, most of the time they come up to the surface because they think it's safe, they think it's dark. And especially if you've watered it heavily, they're trying to get up away from all that so they can breathe a bit. And then you can rake them off, pick them off, brush them off, put them into a bucket or leave them for the birds. So if it was me, I would be using a black tarpaulin pretty much all of the year. Do it in sections throughout your lawn, obviously not in deep winter, but most of the growing season, get a black tarpaulin and move it around your garden once, a, once every couple of days, do a different spot and you'll be amazed and you'll, you'll, be, you'll be attracting them out, pulling them out and make a big difference to your lawn. So please consider doing something like that this year because every single year we've got lots of people that have had the lawns devastated like this but a lot of people do not want to put the time and effort in to what's needed. We've got no foolproof ways of totally killing them so we have to do what's best, what we can do. You can improve your lawn by letting it grow a bit longer, not too long, a little bit longer so it produces deeper roots and ultimately becomes healthier as a result. And a healthier lawn can withstand a few grubs. But to get to that level, you've really got to up your game. You've got to be mowing regular, taking the tops off on a slightly higher setting, reducing compaction, scarifying regular, all these little things. If you want to do it, you've got to really up your game on that BR. But my tip is the black tarpaulin and put some turf soil down once a month. Any questions, pop them down below. I'm here to help. Um, let's get your lawn looking beautiful this year. Have a great day. Let me just show you the front, actually. Now, the front's a completely def different kettle of fish. Normally, this is very thin over here and mossy, which is actually it is. You can see there's less grass and more moss. But I just want to quickly take you around to the front lawn because it's uh, completely different. And it's amazing how two lawns in two different areas can be completely different and act different. So there's no issues here at all, other than it's got a lot of thatch which it's never been scarified and same here we had some issues they had some shrubs um, overhanging branches which reduced a lot of the light there but in general regular mowing um, a good scarify would do this this lawn the world of good but this gets in the sun a lot in the summer and it was brown this year so any questions I am here to help right that is my business we treat lawns and I've been doing it for 20 years. I don't know everything, okay? I'm not an expert in any shape or form. Well, I am, to, to the best of my ability. No one should ever say that they are perfect because nobody's perfect and, and we're learning things all the time. But if we've got a bit of knowledge and we find ways to help and, and make improvements, that's what we wanna do. We wanna share and help you get a better lawn. So put your questions down below and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.